Oh, you who believe, give charity for the pleasure of Allah, the pleasure of Allah. Oh, you who believe, read the Quran every night of Ramadan, night of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. All the praise and all the glory is due to Allah. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his last prophet and messenger. Our respected viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today's episode we are talking about one of the basic qualities that the person or the believer tastes and experiences through his life. This is one of the sweetnesses of Iman or these are some of the effects that are reflected in the heart of a believer, which is rida, or what we call submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being pleased with everything that Allah subhanahu has decreed for the believer. A believer is pleased with Allah as his Lord, with the Prophet Muhammad as his prophet and messenger, with the religion of Islam as a code of life that he experiences through his life. Uh, that's why the messenger blessing some peace of Allah be upon him said whoever says at the beginning of his day and at the beginning of his night raditu billahi rabba wa bil islam deena wa bi muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam nabiyya wa rasula haqqan ala allah an yurdiya whoever says i'm pleased with allah as my lord with the religion with the prophet muhammad as my prophet and messenger with the religion of al-islam and with Allah's will, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will have the responsibility of pleasing that person. So these are one of the basic qualities that the person enjoys in his life. Either at times of adversities or at times of happiness. In all of his situations, a believer is, ple is pleased because he knows and he recognizes that everything comes from Allah for a reason. It may be for a test if it is a trial or it may be for raising his grade high in the heavens when he meets Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The messenger blessings and peace of Allah be upon him said amazing is the status of a believer. On all of, the, on all of his situations he is pleased. If he is afflicted with a trial he is pleased with Allah and, he, and if he is experiencing something good he is also pleased with Allah. And this is not realized except by the believer, the true sincere believer. And the messenger said, this is not for anybody. It is only for the believer. A person who enjoys that kind of pleasure is only the true believer in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibn Taymiyyah is one of the great scholars in Islam when he was exposed to a trial in his life, he was actually put in the prison. So he pronounced a word which is very eloquent and it is meaningful also. He said, if, the, if my enemies, if I spend the whole of gold equal to that prison, to my enemies, I will not actually compensate them for what they have produced for me. What kind of thing that they produced for him? They put him in a trial, they put him in the prison. So he is experiencing a bad trial which affected him deeply. And he said, because actually when I'm in the prison, I'm enjoying being secluded and being alone before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if I'm driven away from my town, I'm experiencing tourism and I'm experiencing looking at the signs of Allah on the earth. And he said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, فَضُرِبَ بَيْنَهُمْ بِسُونِ اللَّهُ بَابْ بَاطِنُهُ فِيهِ الرَّحْمَةِ وَظَاهِرُهُ مِنْ قِبَلِهِ الْعَذَابِ He quoted the statement that will be pronounced by the people on the day of a judgment. When the people of the hellfire will be separated from the people of paradise by a fence, one of the two sides of that fence will be of whole punishment and the other side will be a side of blessings. So he said sometimes people are experiencing trials, people are having a lot of problems in their lives, but it comes on their hearts as a source of calmness, 
as a source of tranquility, as a source of peace. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alleviates their pain. This is the same experience that Ibn Taymiyyah had in his life. So he made from the bad experience that he had in the prison, a shining and a brilliant uh, way of inviting the people to Islam and telling the criminals who accompanied him in the prison about the religion of Allah and they came afterwards as sound citizens. This is the way how the, the, how the believers are pleased with the Lord, are pleased with the trials that may be exposed to them by day and night. My dear respected brothers and sisters, there is a difference between patience and rida or submission to Allah's will. Every Muslim is actually required by Allah, by the Islamic Sharia, to be patient, to enjoy a feeling of perseverance. And this is obligatory on every Muslim and, and every uh, male or female. Uh, but for rida or submission to the will of Allah, this is something which is recommended. It is granted to people of high grade, people of greater Iman, when they are pleased with everything, when the Iman penetrates into their hearts, they will feel that everything else that they lose in this life is trivial and it is nothing. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes them realize the true meaning of this life. Uh, the Messenger, blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, said in the authentic hadith, three situations are the times when a true, sincere believer tastes the sweetness of Iman. The first thing is, When Allah and His Messenger become more beloved and more dear to the person or to the believer than anything on the face of the earth, better than his parents, better than his wife, better than his children, better than anything that he faces on the earth. And number two, And he, be, and he loves a believer and he loves his brother merely for the sake of Allah. And he hates to return back to disbelief and to the state of polytheism as if he hates to be cast in the hellfire. These are the three items or the three situations that the person will experience the sweetness of Iman. Do you like to give you examples of people who enjoyed that type of submission to Allah's will? And they actually enjoyed that when the person is afflicted with a trial and he realizes that it comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to test his Iman and to raise his grades high in the heavens. He actually enjoys that. This is a situation of uh, Umran ibn al Husayn. He is a companion of the Prophet ﷺ. He was extremely sick <coughs> at, the, at the end of his time. Imran ibn al-Husayn was extremely afflicted with a disease that he could not actually stand up or even sit down. He spent the most or the rest of his life lying down on the bed until they actually had a hole in the bed to answer the call of nature. And Umran, when the people came to visit him, he used to calm them down and say, don't worry, I'm just listening the hymns of praise being pronounced by the angels of Allah around me. And I'm feeling that I'm satisfied with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has afflicted me with. And he died as a, not only a patient, a person who is persevering and accepting the trials that were afflicting him, but he actually died as a true submissive to Allah's will and to Allah's decree. This is the type of people exactly like Urwat ibn Zubayr. Urwat ibn Zubayr is one of the tabi'een of the second generation after the Prophet ﷺ. He gave us an ideal example of Rida being pleased with Allah. When he received two bad news on the same visit that he paid to one of the caliphs. The first item of news that he received is that uh, the people told him that his son, while he was going around the roof of one of the homes or the palaces of the Amir, he fell down under the, un, un, under the feet of the horses. So they stabbed him until they actually completely killed his son. And Urwat ibn Zubayr in the same situation, 
he received the news that he had a gargarine or he had a severe disease and they must have and they must actually cut his his feet off so urwa ibn zubayr received this, the two uh, pieces of news as a shock at the same time so they told him what do you like how do you how do you like actually to have your uh, feet cut they said we will give you a drug or we will give you uh, uh, some wine uh, or intoxicant so that you will not feel the intensity of the pain Urwat ibn Zubayr when he received that news he said no I would like actually to experience the pain and I will I will accept it I will not feel that pain Urwat ibn Zubayr insisted that his feet must be cut and he had a suggestion he said when I'm on the verge of entering into my prayers please start I will stretch when I'm engaged in the prayer and he had a deep feeling a presence of mind when he engaged in the prayer until that he did not realize the people around him and he did not recognize that the people even talk or they want to actually cut his feet so he stretched his hand when he was in the final salutation in the final tashahud and they started cutting it off after finishing the prayers he fell in a coma and then he started asking the people did you cut my feet off they said yes we did he said, I actually didn't feel it. Then a man came to him with the bad news of his son being killed and the other news of having his feet cut. And he had one statement and said, O oh people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored me with four parts in my body, two hands and two feet, and with four sons. Praise be to Allah for the son he took. And praise be to Allah for the three sons he left. Praise be to Allah for the feet it is cut. And praise be to Allah for the three other limbs that he left to enjoy in my life. This is the feeling of rida and submission and pleasure with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his pleasure and his religion. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to shower his mercy upon all of us and to shower his rida and his pleasure on all of us in this life and the hereafter. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh, you who believe, give charity for the pleasure of Allah. The pleasure of Allah. Oh, you who believe, read the Quran every night of Ramadan. Night of Ramadan